And more than three years after President Biden announced the United States would pull all of its troops out of Afghanistan, thousands of Afghans who helped our military during the war are still living with targets on their backs. Congress recently approved more visas for Afghan allies to come to the U.S. But as Rebecca Castor reports, the wait for many of these immigrants is unbearable. Nearly three years ago, U.S. troops in Afghanistan were packing up to go home and put an end to the nation's longest war when the withdrawal turned to chaos with an attack at the airport in Kabul as thousands of Afghans tried to escape from the resurging Taliban rule. Everything was changed dramatically in one night and uh, it was very hard for me. Uh, there was every night I saw nightmares. The danger was even worse for Afghans like Hamid Momond, who helped U.S. soldiers during the war. I was running from one safe house to another safe house. My phone was uh, switched off. I changed my phone numbers. I didn't talk to any of our friend as well because I didn't uh, trust even the friend and relative. Today, Hamid and his wife live in Maryland after being approved for a special immigrant visa, or SIV, a pathway to legal residence in the U.S. for Afghans with ties to the U.S. military. When somebody believes in the idea of America and they stand up for democracy and we tell them they're going to be able to come here, we got to follow through on that promise. Since 2009, nearly 120,000 SIVs have been awarded to Afghans, and Congress recently agreed to make an additional 12,000 available through the end of 2025. But advocates say that falls short of the amount needed. We probably need another 30 to 50,000 visas, uh, you know, based on how many people have applied, how many people we think served alongside us. Hamid is waiting for his own two brothers, who also helped U.S. soldiers, to be approved for visas. But in the meantime, he's looking ahead. I'm very hopeful for the future because of the opportunity in the U.S. If you uh, do hard work, you will have a good future. For years, there's been bipartisan support on Capitol Hill for the SIV program. But with immigration a hot-button issue this election year, there are concerns lawmakers will shy away from pushing more legislation to support Afghans. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.